I'm biohacking Joe Baines, and I'm interviewing comedians and everybody. I'd like, I'd like to biohack Joe Baines. He needs biohacking, yes. Uh, I'm interviewing people about life hacks, about what they have learned in life that can be useful for other people. Yes. And so, uh, so this is Louis Schaefer. This is Mr. Diabetes. Okay. This next year, something else. Yeah, it'll be Mr. Cancer. Yeah. Cancer, yeah. dementia, or uh, yeah, yeah. What, what could it be next year? I don't remember. But yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, Mr. Diabetes UK. There's already a Mr. Diabetes USA. Is there? Yeah. Have you have you done any collaboration with him, or should no. you be doing? No, I just uh, I just don't want to be sued by him. All oh, right. Okay. But if he sues me, if he sues me, I'll just stop using the name. Yeah. Well, you could be Mr. Insulin Resistance. I don't like that title because I don't know what that means to be resistant to work. That's one of those uh, names they came up with. Hmm. That that isn't quite real. Isn't yeah. Quite true. That's true. Yeah. So you'll have to make one out then. Yeah. Um, you, could be, you could be Mr. Carnival. Carnival, yeah. Yeah, but, I like that. Yeah, but by the time by the time I'm Mr. Carnival, I will stop being Carnival, carnival and yeah. something else. I'm actually looking at moving away from Carnival. Who isn't? Yeah. It's the most boring thing in the entire world. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm looking at other options, yeah. but yeah, let's see. Yeah, well, we are going to move away from it, but you can't, keep, you can't keep it up. It's so boring. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, so what have you? It's like saying, it's like saying, I'm never going to have a drink again, or I'm never going to do any more crack, what? or I'm never going to do any more heroin. You know, you can only that, do you're that pushing it too fast. You're going yeah. too far there. Okay. Like, I, I have actually given up alcohol, uh, apart from champagne. You've given it up temporarily. Well, apart, apart from champagne. Yeah. When if there's champagne or oh, good wine, yeah. good wine or oh, Guinness, or <laughs> Guinness, or Carlsberg, or, 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 no, or, or Carling. Or, or a 10 year or aged a tenant, whiskey. Or a tenant. Or a can of pie that you see what you think. Or just. No, I'm, no, I've only got three or four drinks that I would drink. Uh, and one of those is 10 year single malt whiskey. Yeah. Uh, or Guinness. Or really good wine. Yeah. Or champagne. That's it. That's it. Apart, apart from that, I've given it up completely. Yeah. Well, so that's you, important. You know what? If, you, if you'd have those five things, then a pinch you'd eat something else. You know that. I don't care. What is that mark right there in my face? Oh, that's just that's because I screen. keep dropping the camera. Can I, I can, can I, no, can I it, it won't. It won't come off. Uh, basically, I dropped it too many times, oh, so and so it's, it's basically it's broken. It's broken. Yeah. Oh, it's the tiniest little break. I, I know. Seen. I know. I know. I need changes. Yeah. No, you don't. Okay. Now that I know that, it's like having a spider on my face. The people yeah. who are seeing this can't. So no, they can't right. see it. No, no. And I'll cut this bit anyway. Yeah. So, how have you optimized your life? Optimize, but we don't yeah. know because I have, you know, I don't know if, if what I'm doing is making it optimal. It could be hurting. I mean, anything you do, everything we do could have a positive or negative effect. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm making changes every single day. My own son said that to me. I got a, an 18 year old son, and he, 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 I, I said to him, you asked him, Am I a stick in the mud being an old guy? And he's so young, 18. And he said, No, I'm the opposite because I'm always changing and always thinking. So, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, what do you think I'm doing? I think you're you're um, you're done a lot of optimizing in the last couple of years. I would say I have. Yeah. But well, one thing I controlled my diet for the first time. I started to lose weight, and then I started to control what exactly I was eating, not just reducing the calories. And uh, now I'm on practically an all meat diet, and it's feeling really, really good, as good as I could feel, which is not that good. Yeah. Because I don't feel that good. You're the kind of person, Joe, who would feel good. I don't I, feel good. Why not? It's, yeah. That's just a mind thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's in my yeah. mind. I mean, like optimizing. You do you do what you can do, and then the other stuff you can't. Uh, you, you try, and then you'll work on the other stuff, right? Yes. So right now I'm on baseline health, which is I feel very clear and good. I don't clear. That sounds Scientology. Is there another word for it? like clear? Like, uh, like um. Useful, what you're doing useful. at the moment. Well, that's something else, but I mean, I feel calm. I would say maybe you can't tell that I'm calm, but that we're the way I normally am. I'm sure you're very calm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very calm, but I am calmer than I've ever felt. Okay, okay. but so, so what have you implemented at the moment that could be useful for other people? Well, I just think you're gonna stop people. People should stop eating sugars, different types of sugars. It just wires you. It makes you all, makes you, it makes you excited when you're eating them, and then it makes you tired, 
two hours later and then you got to eat more and you're hungry and you're going to want more pain. If you just eliminate all of those things, I think that's what we're doing, right? Yeah. Well, that's what some of us are doing. Yeah. But there's very few. You know, I, I looked up on Facebook. Yeah. Um, there's only 33,000 carnivores in the world. And there are like almost like true. Well, according to Facebook. I mean, 33,000 who've signed up for some Yes, Facebook. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And But if you compare that with vegans, uh, on the vegan groups, there can be almost like half a million. Right, yeah. So, it's, so it's, it's more than 10 to 1. Yeah, that's right. So in terms of the Facebook yeah. population, only 33,000 are. But they get the benefit of, being, of feeling worthy, of being good people for doing that. We just get health. Yes. We yeah. get health and we get the appropriate. That's not the right word. They, they, they get to have a good afterlife. You know, they're practically <laughs> Christians. And, and their present life is very good as well because people go, oh, you're a vegan, we like you. Well, not yeah. everybody. No, but most people do like you. Yeah, no, most people do, yeah. Nobody's yeah. going to go, you're a vegan. I do. But, uh, yeah, basically, that's the case. So, yeah. I, I wasn't the first adopter. I wish I was one of the first adopters, but I feel like I've come late to the whole business. Yeah, there have been people doing it for 20, 30 years. At yeah, least, yeah, at least. And yeah. even before that. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, I mean, when I found out about this thing, I thought, how come, no, how come I didn't do this sooner? Because I wasn't interested in food. Because I wasn't Yeah, my, I wasn't either. Until yeah. until I ended up in hospital, and they told me I had diabetes, and then they discharged yeah. me with nothing. Yeah. Um, well, I had no interest. You're lucky they discharged you with nothing. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, that's you, right. Yeah, that's right. They could have given you insulin and yep. reform, and mm. they could have told you to go on some kind of diet that wouldn't have helped. They wanted to put me on metformin and insulin, yeah. Yeah. and I said, let me think about it, I'll come back to you, and I didn't go back. It's like my doctor, is, you know, she's putting me on statins, she's already put me on statins without me knowing about it. She actually gave me a prescription, it was like a secret prescription, said, why aren't you taking this, this, I didn't even know it was being given. You know, it's a, it's, it's a difficult situation because... You were basically fighting against the medical establishment. Yes, and then you got idiots up there going, "Oh, look, yeah. they've got signs behind them." When really they don't. They've got nothing behind they them. Know the signs. And if you show them the signs, yeah, they, they won't oh, believe it. They won't believe yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. they say, "Oh, the, the person who said that, the person who reported that report, and they said, oh, that report is two years old. Can okay, look at this report. It's uh, it's interesting. It's just but, if people don't want to believe it, they won't believe it. No. That's what that's what Jerry Lewis said. Yeah, and, and you can't, and so you just leave them, and if they come around, they come around, but, you know, yeah, you and can. people also want to be, I've noticed on Facebook, people want to be fed, um, spoon fed, and it's like, look, you've got Google, you've got yeah, all Google's this, the thing. yeah, you've got all yeah. this, yeah, Google the thing, look it up yourself, yeah, yeah. but they want you to literally spoon feed them the information, information yeah, yeah. and then it's like, like they ask me, they say, well, you know, what about vitamin C? You can Google that yourself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, why are you asking me? And then what I do is I, I put up a, you know, you do this too. I don't need to do that. I put up a, just a link to something and they say, and then they poo poo that link. So yeah, why that's you, right. Why yeah. you look for the link yourself? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look for your own, yeah. own, own, because this is what I do. If somebody tells me something and I don't, and I'm like, that sounds a pile of crap. Yeah. And I'm interested in it and I'd like to know if it's true. I will go, look, let me come back to you. In a couple of days time, and I'll go and do my own research. Right. Because I don't, I don't want to take whatever you've done. I want to look for my own research. You know. They don't want to believe that. Anyway. Yeah, that's right. And people don't want to put the effort in. They crazy. don't want to put the effort in, and then yeah. when you tell them, they don't want to believe it. Yeah. And so you're on a no-win. So the best thing I found with those people on my Facebook feed, I just ignore them. I don't block them. I don't do anything. I just sort of. Ignore them. That's it. And yeah, yeah, I know you're thinking, but I'm, I'm, my thinking is it's no point in even. Ignoring. I'll, I'll send them a link and know that it won't work. But somebody else might see the link and, and think, yeah, think, yeah, there is maybe, right. maybe it'll come into their brain. And the point is, I've been, do, I've been doing these crazy ideas for most of my life, and people, not just this. I was, the, you know. I, I stop wearing eyeglasses, and I believe you can change your eyes. Yes, you can, yeah. Right? And uh, I've been telling people, they, I, I party trained my baby at three months old. Baby at three months old, so he didn't eat nappies. And people, people didn't believe it, so there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I mean, people, we're all at a certain level of wakefulness, yeah. or, or evolvedness, and 
we all have our journeys. So some people will get up there, some people won't, but that is their journey. Well, maybe we're wrong. But at yeah, the same time, not, people, people got enough things on their plate. They don't want to believe you. They want to believe the status quo. Yeah, some, because it's easier. It's easier to believe yeah. the status quo. Because, because they don't have time to worry about this. That's it. Exactly. So, so, so you can't get angry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, no, I don't. I don't get angry. And we might be wrong too. This whole yeah. thing, we might die. It's oh, all carnival crazy. Yeah, I, I am actually. <laughs> shouldn't be telling you this. I'm actually going on a 21 day retreat in um, next month. Yeah. Where I come off food completely. What for food? You're gonna fast for 21 days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. It's uh, gonna be. It's gonna be interesting. They're that's gonna, the ultimate carnival. Right? Yeah. So this where is going to be... Where you eat yourself. Um, That's almost funny. It could what, be. What you, what you we're going to do a lot of Qigong. We're going to do a lot of uh, meditation, breathing. Where is this? Um, this is going to be in Italy. Oh, in Italy. Uh, at the moment, yeah. So You have a lot of money, Joe. No. I'm where, are you getting, where are you getting the money to go in these countries? Oh, look. Like, you don't see you, do you know, listen, look. Do you know where I'm staying? I'm staying in an uh, Airbnb and I've got the sofa. I'm sleeping on the sofa. Yeah, how much All right, you that doesn't matter. Could cost hundreds. Here's the point no. I'm making. Stop for a second. Are you taking three weeks home to go to some ashram or something? Yeah, because I don't work. You don't work. So, so where's the money coming from? You got to pay your rent. Oh yeah. Nobody yes. told me that. Yeah. While you're away. Anyway, they don't, they I'm going to cut this oh, bit Joe, out. I'm going to cut this bit out. Joe's away. He doesn't pay his rent because he's he's, he's he's eating the air. No, because I don't rent either. Fasting. Is the ultimate carnivore? Yes, it is. Yeah, Have you yeah. You've never heard that said before. No, I haven't. But it makes sense. It makes sense though, because like, you're eating yourself at the end of the day. Yourself, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so what would be you? What would you want? To Everyone is a carnivore when they're not. Yes. Well, when they're in a fasted when state. Yes. Yeah. So they have to hit that fasted state, right. which for a normal person could take several days. Is that true? They've got so much food. They no, because their body hasn't. Uh, if they've never they've gone, enough, they've got enough uh, glycogen in their blood. Yeah, and also they haven't converted before. And the more time you go back and forth, the quicker it gets, the easier it gets. Uh, so I, I go back and forth. I was time. eating one meal a day, but here in Edinburgh it's hard to do. It, yeah, so, it is, yes. I'm so, and I've been eating late at night too, which is good. Which is I, I get home at three in the morning. Yeah, and you want to eat something. Yeah, that's right. So I have my um, my raw beef yeah. in, in a jar with uh, apple cider vinegar in it. So I will have four or five pieces. Right. Yeah, and I'll and I've got uh, double cream as well, yeah, whipping cream. That's what I get. Just yeah, thing, double cream. and I'll dip that in that. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. By the way, it's like it's like cocaine, literally like cocaine for my brain. It's not cocaine. Well, not that I would know, but uh, it is. It's good. It's good. It's one percent. It's one percent sweetness. Yeah, yeah. No, but what I mean is, I get a high from it. It's like toothpaste. Yeah, but I mean. I get a high, like not a sugar high, but like um, I don't know, a pleasure high. Yeah, because that's because our food is so shit that that's amazing compared to the other food that we eat. That's the fact. Or I'm just addicted to it. No. No, it's just it's yeah. just it's just slightly less shit than the other food. That yes. We eat. Yeah. Yeah. So, what would you pass on to your kids? What, like, you know, you've got an 18 year old son. Yeah. What would you want to pass on? And a 16 year old son. And the 16 year old son. What information would you want to pass on to them? What would you want them to know? I've told them lots of different things. What do you think? There's only one thing? No, I'm just saying three or four things, whatever it is. I don't know if three I can think of things. I, like, my son just started a new job, and I'm going to go call him right now. And he's, uh, he's, a, um, I said to him, what my grandmother said to me when I started a new job, which was, wear a white shirt and do as you're told. Okay. And okay. that's, uh, and that's what I said to him. And, uh, I tried to imply that I'm much better than his mother. You want to, you want to leave an impression with your children that they're better than the other parents. Um, I, I try to get him to eat this way, the way that no, I eat. he's not going to eat this way. He's, he's actually moving in that direction. My other son is is eating this way, where he's he's maybe not having chips as much as he used to. I I expected one of your sons to be vegan. That that has occurred to me. Yeah, that has occurred. No, I don't, uh, yeah, maybe. Now Rem remember, because I was an absentee father, basically, that they that they're a bit closer to me than they would be to 
another. They want to be more. I'm not saying they want to be more like me, but they're, but they're more receptive to me because they're not bored to death of me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm not there all the time where they're like sick to the stomach of me. I, mean, I don't know. I'll, I mean, you could be healthy and be a vegan. I don't see yeah, it possible. Could, but, yeah. but they have said that it is possible. Some people can do it. If so. you if you know how to do it ancestrally, if it comes yeah. from your culture, yes. and you know all the rules, the ins and outs, but yeah. the average person has no idea what the right amount of protein and... Well, my brother tried vegan. Yeah. And uh, he did it for years. And the last time I met up with him, he was eating eggs. Yeah. So he had to add eggs. <laughs> right, and then once you start with eggs, then it's now you're on fish, and then you're eating steak. Well, so far at the moment, he's, he's stuck on eggs. Uh, so he eats two to four eggs a day. Yeah. Um, which, that's it, you know. I don't think, once he's doing that, he's, yeah. he's added so much good stuff there that... Yeah, that's probably yeah. enough for yeah. eggs. Probably yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he eats good quality eggs. But it's not everything. It's just lots oh, yeah, yeah. Things. But, you know, like for somebody who's vegan, yeah. to add two eggs a day to their meal is... It's huge, yeah. You know, like it's it's a big thing for their body, you know. So, uh, so what are the most pivotal moments in your life that made you grow or led to an epiphany? Well, I mean, I, I can't remember everything. I've had a million epiphanies. I've had a million, you know, 62 years old. I've had a million situations where I thought I'm never going to do this again. You know, when I was a huge mistake or whatever. What's the last one you remember? Or the last two or three? Well, the last one is when you told me that walnuts, you had to soak walnuts. Oh, right, yeah. Okay? And that was like, that was a shot to the head. If you, if, if humans have to soak walnuts, yeah. right? How great are walnuts? They're not that great. I always thought of walnuts as the most amazing. It's like when you find out that, that, that you're super model, that you're in love with on TV, has a, has a wart. As a mold, you know, or best, yeah, you know, it ruins like, the sex, it, it changes everything. But yeah. then they realize she's you, she's so beautiful. Like I guess I would still love Walmart, but I can't love Walmart the way I used to love Walmart. So that was that was that that thing, what you said to me basically turned me off of plants. And it got me certain, it got me more interested in like what exactly I mean, not that I'm more interested, maybe notice that plants are not quite as good as we yes. think as they are. No, yeah. yeah. But you, you know Ben Greenfield, he recommends yeah. um, he recommends putting in your smoothie or whatever you're making, he recommends putting six or seven leaves of spinach uh, because what that will do is stress your body. Yeah. But only a little bit and it helps your body grow. Oh, that's right. Um, so it's like uh, it's like you know like a cold shower yeah. or or wow. some stress because a small amount of stress are good for your body. Yeah. You it know what? Right. You know what? You know what else I recommend? I recommend having my girlfriend punch me in the face every day <laughs> because a little bit of stress is. Uh, and what? then you have to be <laughs> You know what? That's an interesting question. And uh, there there are stressors that are good mm. right now. You know, yeah. cold showers and mm. you cold. I, I do cold showers and I also do breathing. Yeah, but do you know why? Do you know why they're stressors? They're stressors because they're toxins and you shouldn't be eating them. Yeah, them. yeah. Okay, so why why eat toxins when the whole world is filled with toxins? Yes, we, that's true. We yes. don't know what the toxins can do or are doing. There's been no research on it by the poisons and plants. And nobody <laughs> wants to do any research either. There's no money in it. And why, why would they want to talk people out of eating it? Because at the moment, the whole world is pushing for veganism. Yeah. And so anything that would detract from that yeah. is being uh, pushed down. Uh, so I, I'm, I, don't mean, I do stress myself a little bit, but mostly in life, you live life to the fullest, you'll stress you yourself. Stress yourself anyway. Well, I, I do 30 minutes of breathing every morning. I do, I do 24 hours of breathing every day. Oh, do you? 24 hours of breathing, yeah. I breathe, I'm breathing right now. Oh, that was oh that's where I'm going wrong. That was fine. That was fine. Yeah, that's where I'm going. No, but I mean, I do heavy breathing. And I also train while yeah. I'm under it. Like, while you're breathing. Really heavy, heavy training. I'm not so sure I believe in that, but I could. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that. Because I'm the opera, because I was, because I think we, we as people breathe too much. And, and we breathe too much out of our mouths. So ah, oh, have you come across this? Uh, uh, mouth taping. Yeah, I, take I do it. 
I do as well. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been doing it for like over six months. Okay, okay. Um, I've noticed, like, um, so the, what I've noticed, so because, um, you know, I used to be disabled, I notice in my body when, when there's a slight change. Yeah. And when I do the breathing, the next day I can feel it. Right. And when I do the mouth taping, the next day I can feel it. And which is which gives you a better feeling? <laughs> I don't know. I know the breathing has a big impact. It's such a big impact for me. But the heavy breathing. The, yeah, the heavy breathing. That it's almost like um, it's almost like taking steroids. You know, like it just yeah. it just boosts me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? And, and, but I'm not saying I don't know if that's a good thing. What it does is it puts your mind in a position where you think, like, you know, this is a major situation. It's a stressful situation. Yes, but it switches. I'm, I've noticed this on stage as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, I've noticed this on stage. Where's mouth taking? It comes around. It forces you to control your breathing. Yeah, but the the heavy breathing also calms you down. What the heavy breathing does, it's it's it your um, vagus nerve. Yeah, it brings that under control. Because um, when I do the heavy breathing, after the heavy breathing, I go on stage. I am calm. Like I connect with the audience. This is really strange, by the way, and I've been trying to figure out what it is. But it's so powerful for me that before I go on stage, I'll do some, you know, somewhere quiet. I will do five minutes of heavy breathing, and when I get up on stage, I'm very calm and I'm very centered, and I connect with the audience like that. That was because you've gotten yourself in a heightened state of calm. And then, and then brought it down. Brought it down. Yeah, that's so right. You yeah. Feel okay. Panic is over. You were right, and then everything gets calm on calm. Rather than, you know, you be calm, and then you enter the stage, and then you sort of have a panic on the stage, and things get worse. Yeah. So it, well, it might, it might have a beneficial. It, it, I've been doing it for a while now, and in fact, now I won't go on stage until I've done that. So if I'm going to be going on stage, I'll go off somewhere for five minutes, do my heavy breathing, come back. And then I'll go on stage, and it improves my performance on stage. I work. I tell you what, what is similar to, uh, because I'm I'm an introvert. Well, I used to be an introvert, and I used to have massive stage fright. And one one thing that allowed me to get up on stage was I would run around. Like for example, say if I was performing here, right? I would run around all these people here and go and say hello to them. One of those. Yeah, that's right. And I will literally go round, do it about fifty times altogether. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like something like that. It's, it's, it's doing something to get your uh, out of there. And if I do that, not just out of there, it's doing something. Yeah, it's telling your body that something is happening, and it raises your endorphins or your uh, some other kind of thing, adrenals or whatever. Yeah, it gets you all excited, and it, that's what it does. I think with I think with most people, good they life. breathe too much. Yeah, they do. Yes. No, but what this does, the heavy breathing, it's 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 too much breathing and then no breathing. So when I train under the heavy, when I do this breathing thing, when I'm doing the, the heavy training, I'm holding my breath out. So I will breathe out. I'll do the heavy breathing, and then I'll breathe out, hold it. And then I'll do my press ups or my chin ups or whatever. So it's like, it's like anaerobic. Yeah, with no oxygen, but no oxygen in my lungs either. Something to try. And I can do one minute of that. Like, why are you not breathing? While I'm not breathing, it's crazy. I know. And I feel so powerful. And I can train harder under this than I can normally train. Like a lot harder. Like I can do a lot more press ups or chin ups when I've done this in this state. Can I just get a feel my arm muscles. Look at that. See, those are arm muscles. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 It's that. It's that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, you were talking about your muscles. I want to oh, no. My muscles. I'm not talking about my muscles. I'm just saying I can train harder yeah. when I'm. Oh, it's about to be something to try. Yeah. Uh, Which, it's interesting because it's like both of them are that. They might be valid, or one might be more valid, but who knows? You know, breathing through your nose I think, is something that I never did, and now I try to do. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That actually got me started. That was almost a pivotal moment in my life. Because that's when I, that's when I dis I discovered mouth taping. Yeah, and mouth taping people. I've got a paper. <laughs> 
What type do you use? Microforte? Yeah, but I, what I want to do is get that. There's a, um, a chin strap. A chin strap thing. Yeah, I, I'm looking at Oh, have you? Did that, yeah. Does it work? Because I'm no, not. No, you've got to buy a quality one. It's got to make sure it fits your head. Ah, right. Yeah, okay. I bought one. My head doesn't have a very long head. It didn't work. Ah, okay. I'll you know, check. I'll the chin. I've had bought a couple of them. I like the tape better. Yeah, okay. Because the tape is simple. Because, because you definitely cannot show off jury. Yeah, that's the. Off. Yeah, that's right. It's I put it on. Yeah. I don't need much tape. It's just one going across there and then one here. No, you need two and I don't know if you put For me, it's just for me. Because you need to shave. If you shave, you need one bit of tape. Ah, oh, okay. maybe. Yeah, for me, it's like when I get up in the morning, the tape is still on. Like, yeah. it hasn't moved. So, but then I don't move around when I'm sleeping. I just leave it If you use the good microphone tape, that's what's going to happen. My girlfriend, she, she, uh, she bought some duct tape and it was taping me up at night. And uh, then she did my hands and my feet. She was there, she left me there for three days. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a true that, don't, story. Don't do that. That's okay. Not that's true. not my no. tape. Yeah. Okay. That's not my tape. <laughs> so, so what, uh, what are the qualities to become successful? Um, I know what qualities it takes to be not successful. Okay. I've got those. And the qualities to be successful are being nice to people, number one. It's nice. always nice being friendly and nice and outgoing and nice. And being nice to people. Okay. Not make enemies. Yeah. I would say that's the most important thing. Any other qualities that make you successful? Would persistence and well, any of that help? Well, Woody Allen says that 90% of success is just turning up. Yeah. And the, uh, the other is not having sex with your wife's kids. The other 10%. So 90% is 10%. Okay. But I would say, I would say the most important thing is to be successful. To be successful is to be nice to other people. Is to respect other people's views. Even if, they're, even if you think that they're wrong. Especially if they're wrong. Especially if they're wrong. Right. Just say, hey, that's their thing. They're on. I know. I know. People always say that they're on their journey. Yeah. But even if they're not on the journey, even if they're stuck in the mud, they're not going anywhere. Let them. That's still their journey. Yeah. You yeah. have to tell them they're wrong. That's what yeah. I do. I always tell people they're wrong, and I love it. I love it. All right. I'm I should be more successful. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Le Shaper. Yeah. I look like success. Right you know, actually, next year I'm not wearing a white shirt. Though. Your your show could be Le Shaper. Mr. Success. Well, I did a show a couple of years ago called uh, Success is Not an Option. Like, failure is not an option. Success is not an option. And it was like why I was a failure. And it was really, it was, it was one of the best things I've ever done. Where I basically explain how people like, how, how every single show I've done is a failure. And that this show will be a success. And then when or the next show that I do is a success and when people see it they say, you know what, I liked it better when it was a failure. Because that's what that's what the people like. But that's that's that. Okay, what's the next question? So the next one, what gets you up every every day? An alarm clock. <laughs> that gets me up. But why why get up? What, what motivates you to get up in the morning? What just motivates you to put your suit on? Because I know what hard work is like, because I've seen other people do it. And I feel like I should be doing it. I just feel bad that I'm not doing it. I feel guilty that I'm not doing it. And at least, at least I can trust them. And I think to myself, okay, I'm wearing clothes. I'm getting dressed. But then again, the reason I get dressed is because I take off all my clothes every single day to weigh myself, because I'm a bit clean all that. So I have to weigh myself, totally naked, in the exact same spot, at the exact same time. How much do you weigh at the moment? I don't know. This is the thing. It was a major effort not to bring a, a bathroom scale. Did you bring a bathroom scale? I don't weigh myself. Well, I weigh myself every morning and I count up wow. and, and uh, I make a pee beforehand. and I do everything just to make sure that it's right. So, how, I'm, so how much did you weigh before you came here? When was the last one? I weighed 78, pounds, 78 kilos. Oh, 78 kilos? Wow, okay. Is that heavy? Right? When well, last time I weighed myself, I was 65 kilograms. And how tall were you? Five foot six. Yeah, so I'm three inches tall. Oh, okay, so that could be, that would explain it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. And, and what are you, oh, do you have a morning routine? Is there something we can learn from your morning routine? I don't routine? know, you can't learn anything from my morning routine. I don't really accept it. I wake up. I wake up. I, I used to try to, to make a poo. Okay. So that I would, get a, I would get a lower rating, a lower reading on my scale. And then I'd weigh myself. So take all your clothes off, 
Yeah. Go for a wee, go for a poo Perfect. before you weigh yourself. Ladies, yeah. this is the uh, advice if you want to get lambs. No, they don't, they don't weigh themselves. I've learned that over. They don't weigh themselves. It's like a, it's like a big to do for them. They just, they just make, make a number up, right? No, they don't want to know. Oh, the women are so different when it comes to weight. I mean, they, they, we, we, we wouldn't be having this discussion if we were women. Very, I don't even understand what they do. But they don't weigh themselves. They don't weigh themselves. They don't want to know. And I want to know. How am I doing? What are you know? What yeah. are yesterday? Yeah, of course. You want to know the. Yeah, I wonder whether it's working or not. Whether I'm, whether it's not working. Whether you know today I had I had two thousand calories of double cream. Wow. You know. By the way, I I do not like the amount of calories you eat. I'm like I must be between yeah. five hundred to a thousand calories. Yeah. Like, I don't. I don't a day, yeah, I don't know. You can't. I, I am. I hard. I don't eat that much. Like, it's crazy. Like this means you slow down. Your metabolism. Is no, I run around and I weight train. And I do everything. Like I, I, I do. Can't eat five hundred calories. I don't know. This is the bit. I don't so this understand. is where you're like a girl, Joe. Maybe maybe it's because you don't keep track of yourself. You're deluded. I don't. Yeah, it could be. But why don't you? Want, every time, every time you go home, you open up that gel. It can't be that many calories, you know, like the amount of food I eat is literally... No, you have to add it up. Just yeah, it up. all right, I will, what I'll do is I'll I mean, do one not, week. You're not fat. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm not. Like 500 calories, considering I eat 2,800 calories. Yeah, calories. I know, I see your things. I mean, if I, 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 yeah. I, honestly, if I try to eat that much, I would not be able to move, I think, personally. Yeah. You know, like... Um, well, what do you, why do you think that that is? I why am I able to do that without getting... Without, Getting, getting fat, food. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. All I know is I, I physically can't eat that much. Like my body would reject it. And I put actually every calorie that I eat, I write it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I'm gonna do it now. All right, for one week, yeah. I'm gonna because I'm just too lazy. That's one of the reasons I don't do it. It's because I just yeah, don't care. For a week, you can see how much you're actually eating. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I will. I will weigh and measure everything for a week. Just, just for the hell of it. Um, all right, and what are you most grateful for? Well, <laughs> grateful isn't the quality that I have. It's that I've survived this long without being grateful, basically. I'd like to be grateful. I'm not really grateful. If you could be grateful for something, what would it be? <laughs> I mean, lots of things. People have been, they've been all right to me. I have I've survived. They've helped me. People have helped me. You know, um, there's lots of things that they can't, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, everything, I wish I was grateful for everything, but I'm not, I'm not, I think I kind of deserve it, I deserve it, so when I, I don't happen, deserve it, I yeah. don't deserve it, but, yeah. I, but sometimes I feel like I deserve it, and then I think to myself, oh wait a second, maybe I don't. Maybe they're doing it, I'm going out of their way. Like yesterday, I ran into a friend who's been su who supported me. You know, some people said some bad things around me. And she supported me. And I said, thank you. I really, really nice of you. And uh, that felt very awkward. <laughs> Just felt like, Ugh. you know. And then they say, no, I did it for myself. I didn't do it for you. <laughs> and it was like, uh, <laughs> Be grateful is one of those qualities. Be grateful. Very Be grateful. grateful. Thank, thank you, Joe, for asking me to do this. See, I think you, I deserve to do this, but you know, I appreciate your asking. That. That's so why I, I, I'm grateful for three things every morning. <laughs> Sorry? What are the three things? Oh, I just, from whatever happened yesterday. Oh, you make a list of three things. Well, I, in my head, I do it. Like, I'm saying, okay, what happened yesterday that. What three things I could I be grateful for from yesterday? Right. Um, what, and when I get up in the morning, one of the things I'm really grateful for is uh, that I'm alive. Here's the thing: you get that probably from that guy. What's yeah, his name? Sartre. No, the other guy. Which other guy? Well, not that guy. But the, the uh, who's the guy? Who's the guy? You, the guy looks like. Uh, <laughs> I lost my mind. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the guy you were in uh, Seychelles with or something. Like, uh, 
Uh, Tony Robbins. Oh, Tony Robbins. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it is right. Yeah, yeah. And right. Tony Robbins. He's always great. Great. Uh, he's always coming up with little things you can do. Little tweaks. Yeah. Because I remember, I remember I was into Tony Robbins back then. And uh, I was into him back in the day. He said, make a 7% change. I think he did something. I bought the tape, 17 tapes. And then, um, like today, today, do this. Yeah. Right? And let's do it. Then the next day, it's like, okay, do this and do that. And then do this and do that and do that. And do this, that, that, and that. And it, it, it makes you insane. Yeah. No, but I, I do that, actually. I, every day, I'm looking, how can I do something better? Like yeah, better is something different than yeah. adding on stuff. Yeah, okay. You know, so, <laughs> to me, to me, instead of doing something new every day, let's just try to do the same thing I did yesterday, only a bit more. Yeah, or in a better way, or more efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which, is, which, I've done, which is what I've done with the breathing. Yeah. I've been, it, the breathing is always half an hour, but I've been adding loads and loads of things to it. So it's getting more and more intense. Yeah, but maybe that's the way to do it. And that's why I stopped doing the Tony Robbins thing, because he's always adding on things, and you can't do it. And then, but it's good for him, because you feel, you feel like you've let him down. Like you've, let, you've let him down. Yeah. You, you don't blame him. No, of course you For him coming up with some crazy for thing, with all these multiple things. What could I more of people like? Well, what's happening over there? Should we go and have a look? No. No? Okay. All right. Okay, brilliant. So I'll put your um, we'll go, flyer on there. We'll actually, go over there a lot. Yeah. I said free wine, but it's it's, it's carbs. So I, I'll put your <laughs> link and everything. Is it diabetes? Have I said anything funny on this? Of course, no. He hasn't. He hasn't said anything funny at all. This is my good sign. There's a big thing coming out here. kind of like. What about your um, forehead? You want to get rid of the wrinkles? Yeah. Don't you want to get rid of the wrinkles? No, no, no because that's that's not even wrinkles. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's like personality. Yeah. This this is horrific. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I reckon. Like it's nothing to do with that. Ten day fast. <laughs> Make a big difference. Ten day fast. <laughs> yeah. It would actually, in fact, it, it would change your face. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try free for like twelve hours. <laughs> I mean, I have that. I have that. I was doing like 16 hours. Yeah. I was doing 20 to 21 hours. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, I do 24 and 48 hours now. Yeah. yeah. And I'm thinking, I'd like to do like a whole day where I wake up and no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner, and then the next day. Yes, that's yeah. a good one. I, that's I, a good I do one. that, yeah. Uh, the most I've done is I'll stop eating in the afternoon, maybe one o'clock, and then I'll go to the line till like the next day. Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's a good well, but alternative day eating is really good. So you eat one day, one or two meals, and the next day nothing. And then the next day one or two meals, and the next day nothing. Yeah. So that's a good one. I probably almost do that. I'm almost, I'm almost ready. I'm ready to do Lord. I'm not ready. I've sort of fallen back in the discipline department, but maybe it's time to like up and up again. Because I'm still, I'm still doing, I'm not doing one meal a day now here. Yeah. But um, but I am restricting the calories and I'm not going cold, so I'm, I'm holding on. As long as you've got rid of the um, sugar and bread yeah. and carbs, then uh, but I think, it's I hard think, to go I wrong. I think the time delay eating, whatever that is, it is amazing. I think that's that's so yeah, important. Yeah, that is just, and that's what I'm going to be doing in Italy. The, You're not uh, going to eat. It's 21 days of not eating altogether. Um, it's 21 days of not eating, 21 days of Qigong, 21 days of meditation, 21 days of uh, breathing exercises. It's, it's quite a thing. They say money on food. <laughs> All right, so thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Biohacking Joe Bates, and I'll put his links there as well. Louis uh, Schaefer. Louis Schaefer. Yes. Yeah. Follow him everywhere. Go and see his show. Uh, because it'll save your life. Hopefully. Hopefully. Not that I'm doing this, but I don't appreciate it. Thank you.